Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here today, number two of a temporary daily series focusing on the eating establishments of Southern California, going to get takeout from places that are open, and then finding a spot to sit and consume said items. I'm going up to Burbank. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Bringing along with me a few accessories here in this bag, including my Route 66 blanket, which I will cast upon the ground for a seating arrangement. Let's get going. Big the foot. He's enjoying this little drive. It's nice for him. Wherever there is a classic car, well, it could also be seen at the, at the orange circle, but I'm not at the orange circle. I am at Bob's Big Boy. Also home to lots of classic mobiles that cruise through here. They are open for drive through pickup, takeout. I guess the official term is hop service, not for car. Then curbside delivery here, or you can go in and the wind is blowing a little bit. You got some vehicles here, and then you got others that are going through a little drive through section. And there she is bringing out the food. That's the hop service. I met up with my friend Natalie. If you had to say what are two most common places that we eat at, what what, what would they be? Soup Plantation and Bob's Big Boy for sure. Soup Plantation <laughs> has closed its doors, but we still have Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> Open every day from nine to nine. Home of the original double hamburger, double decker hamburger. What do you think you're gonna get if you had to, when you go in, what do you think you're gonna order? Double decker and a milkshake. I think I'm gonna go with the spaghetti. I've been craving spaghetti. Spaghetti sounds really good too. I know. And there's the iconic figure, the mascot himself, and he is well protected. He's even got the the facial covering. It's good to see. LA County requires it. Unless you're eating. Obviously you could take it off when you're eating, but if you're out in public, LA at least. Orange County is a little more lenient, but LA. You have to have one of these on over your nose and your mouth. You can't really tell if this is the pickup line or the order line. And they have the markings down here. You see the, the yellow tape. I'm just gonna wait patiently to find out. Do you think this is the pickup line or the, the order line, if you had to guess? I'm hoping the order line. This restaurant was built in 1949 by locals Scott McDonald and Ward Albert and is the oldest remaining Bob's Family restaurant in America. State of California, point of historical interest. Is that the online menu you're looking at? Yeah. <laughs> so many things. <laughs> so now you're thinking about changing your mind? Yeah, I might get a fiesta salad because it's so hot outside. One fun fact about this place is the Beatles, when they were on their tour, ate here right inside this very diner. While standing here, I'm noticing at the Gary Marshall Theater across the street, the signage states, Laugh, 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 but please wear a mask. Someone just honked out if they approve. I'm attempting to decipher that paper signage there. I think it says to be patient one step closer. This is a nice little welcome mat here too. It really is a rare sight to see it like this. And the beetle booth is the one. The beetle sat is all the way down there on the far right to the end. And this has been used in a lot of television shows, commercials, and movies, as well as referenced, not used, but referenced in Austin Powers. You can see there's, there's Mr. Big Boy himself right there on the top of that building. Remember how it flies off into the stratosphere? See you later, Big Boy. I do own a few of these items. I have a couple stickers. I don't have a mug, but I do have the little change, the little change satchel purse. But there are some new t-shirt designs and bobblehead and a skateboard, which was not here prior to me being here at this point. Uh, the chicken fiesta? Or yes. the, uh, <laughs> Can I get the tortilla bowl as well? Yeah, of course. Uh, what kind of dressing you want for your salad? Um, the cilantro lime. And then, uh, iced tea with lemon and uh, you said Coke, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So it comes to 3744. Okay. Yep. An array of photographs are up here. 
For Sean Connery, yeah! Yeah! I would imagine the next time I stop off here, it will be business as usual. They're using this to kind of create like a little makeshift stopping point. Usually this is completely full. There's usually a little bit of a wait to just even find a booth or a seat. Some vintage goodness there in that case. And if I peruse down the row as well, there's even more, you know, kind of like old knickknacks and whatnot over there. See them? A little bit of a challenge to... You can figure out what these say though, even though they're facing towards the outside and I'm currently inside. Kind of get the idea here of the, of the notices. I'm realizing now by kind of looking at myself that I am in dire need of a of a hair trim, a haircut. Think I need a haircut? Waiting gives me a chance to look at some of the other items here. That I've really never really looked at. Whenever I eat, I just kind of go sit down and never pay much attention to all this. Oh, there's the Batmobile. Radiator Springs even came to came to Bob's, and the movie Heat with Val Kilmer and De Niro was a scene or two was right in here at that at the booth facing out towards the road, right over right there. That's where De Niro Kilmer sat. Could be a reproduction, but this is the building construction contract. Notice the date on there. 1949. On a scale of one to ten, would this give you would this give you bad dreams on a scale of one to ten? This this right here, this. On a scale of one to ten, what would you say? Um, I would say solid eleven. <laughs> Yeah, I have water on the floor, so I don't That plushie right there is at some point is going to be it's going to be owned by me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that plushie at some point in my life. Okay, there is a a patch hat, a trucker hat, and something called a smog hat amongst the amongst the merchandise. Nice. And this states that James Dean frequented this particular establishment back in the day. In some ways, I feel kind of bad not getting a burger at Bob's, but I do like the spaghetti. It's not ordinary spaghetti. It has chili on it, not just the, the regular spaghetti sauce. So, but that burger looks pretty dang tasty too. Next time. Next time, big boy. Next time. Might as well state this now. I honestly, truthfully have never known his real name. Is this Bob or is it Big Boy? I mean, I've referred to him as the name Bob, but I don't, he might have a different name. And I honestly do not know the truth and the facts behind that. You gotta look that up. This neon, which, you know, it's during the day, so it's not illuminated, but states 49. And if you look up there, you can see the tippy top of yet another burger and his hair protruding up. Here's a little bit better angle, kind of going up. The Starbucks next door is also open for business and currently, well, all the time, I don't know why I said currently, but just right down the street from Warner Brothers. Take a look at the water tower. Let me go in, way in. There it is, the WB water tower. I'm not getting any coffee at the moment, but I did want to show the Starbucks sign here. Alameda and Evergreen. Look at the little, little cowboy and his horse friend. They both have their facial coverings on as well. Wow, look at that painting there. I never noticed that before either. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, thanks so much. I'll grab the bag. You want to grab the beverages? Beverages are quiet. All right. Let's go find a place to eat this. I was asking, do you think his name is Bob or do you think it's something else? I think his name is Big and his last name is Boy. Okay, it says Big Boy. Okay, B, B, Big B Boy. Big B Boy. Sounds good. Even though I've eaten here dozens of times with family, friends, and Natalie. I, mean. <laughs> I have not, I have not ventured into the classic car show yet. Let me come back and document that at, at one point. The continual line of vehicles for drive through carries on. They were cones. Speaking of cones, they have the little tables here stanchioned off with them as well. Ventured over to South Weddington Park. It's not in the same exact vicinity, but it's close enough to, to Bob's. Probably about a mile and a half. When I say ventured, we had to drive. A little, a little too far of a walk. It would have been a long walk. It's like a stone's throw. A stone's throw, I like Maybe that. a couple stone's throw. A couple stone. I still think it's better than, there were some people who were doing like some tailgating at Bob's. <laughs> it make it just makes a little more sense, a little more scenic to, and plus like the Universal is a, Universal Studios is the backdrop here, which isn't, True. isn't too shabby. Yeah. Pretty cool little park area. That's Griffith Park. You see the tree up there, the, the wishing tree, the tippy top of it. That's quite a hike, I've done it. There's the rather large minion up there at the parking structure. Speaking of Universal. He's looking down upon us. And let me just show the spot we have procured right there in the shade. I'm a fan of shade, and that's where we're gonna. That's where we're gonna eat. Well, not spaghetti sauce. I can see the chili. Chili spaghetti. Oh yeah, look at that. That's wow. Good. You got the chili sauce on it. Spaghetti's underneath it, and this is almost like a, I guess like a Texas toast st style garlic bread, not Texas toast. Oh wow. Garlic bread. Look at that. Wow. This looks like a taco salad type bowl. Yeah, and well, it's so good. The, I think it's chili citrus lime. Chili like that. citrus lime on top of that. Wow, okay. Full bite. Oh, wait, let me get like a little bit of the chicken. Okay, you're getting a little bit of the salad. Salad, there's like and corn the chicken. and pico de gallo. Everything. I know I'm kind of, kind of laying in an awkward position here on the side of this embankment. Should I go with the salad first or the chili first? Hmm. I think the chili looks good. Let me get some actual spaghetti on there. I didn't realize this till now, but there, I think there's a hamburger patty. Is this a hamburger oh patty? God. Yeah, I think there's a hamburger. I didn't. Did I order a hamburger patty or does it just come with one? It's a little more difficult to eat on a blanket like this than it is at a table. Because the minion is over your shoulder looking down upon you. Oh God. Hold on, I'm gonna, there he is up there. He wants some of your salad. They really like bananas. Is there any bananas in your salad? Mm -hmm. Then I think you're safe. Cool. You're good. Continue eating. There's no, there's no bananas in the salad minion. But this salad is appealing, get it? <laughs> that was good. Thanks. I'm really confused by this patty here. I don't know if that was... <laughs> was seriously though, was this put here on purpose? Should I even eat this? Mm. Definitely can taste the garlic on there. You were saying it's better to eat the salad last, why? Mm hmm because it's very for your digestion. Once I heard like true Italians eat their salad last. That's how Italians eat their salad last that way? Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I heard. It kind of helps everything 
digest better? I think because it's lighter or something, like it just helps at the end. No. Makes sense. I know when I used to go to pizza buffets and I eat a bunch of pizza, mm -hmm. and then I end with a salad, I felt like less full than if I didn't eat the salad at the end of the pizza buffet. So there's probably some truth to that. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm not sure if I informed you or not, but this this is a legit, well, as legit as I can do a food review. So if you want, you want to go first, what do you think of your salad? I thought it was spectacular. It was a very great salad. Um, the tortilla bowl was super light and like kind of like fluffy in a way, even though it was fried. Okay. It was really good. And like the dressing was like kind of tangy and lime-ish and it was really good. The chicken was charboiled perfectly. Wow, you're doing better at this food review thing than I. This is only my second technical day. Even though I do eat a lot, I never act. Usually when I eat something, I will just say, oh, it was good, and I never really go into detail. But I love Bob's Big Boy, and even though hamburgers are what they are known for, I always get the spaghetti. And until I moved to California, and Bob's, I never really had spaghetti. I know in Cincinnati and Ohio, they do the, the chili on top of the spaghetti, but I never tried it personally until Burbank's Bob. So it's kind of like a little nostalgia for me, and it's, it's pretty tasty. You've had the spaghetti, spaghetti before, right? You no. never have? This little sunburst is a nice little way to, to say that's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop. Update on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, and that noise is people over there that are working out. This is a very, a lot of people being very active out here. Give it a big thumbs up. That lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.